A karin Arabic, krin karin literally meaning, constant companion, is a spiritual double of human, either part of the human himself or a complementary creature in a parallel dimension. Due to its ghostly nature, the karin is classified among the jinn-type creatures, although usually not actually a jinni. The karin as an accompanying spirit should not be confused with the karina as a female, childbed demon, also existing in Middle Eastern faith. Topic. Kareen in Islam Kareen are mentioned in Surat as Zukruf. And whosoever turns away from remembering and mentioning the most beneficent, we appoint for him Shayadan to be a carry to him. Several opinions exist on the exact nature of the Kareen. According to one opinion, the Kareen is actually a shaitan, who incites humans with waswas, evil suggestions but can became good in accordance with humans' good deeds. For example, it is said, that the Kareen of Muhammad became Muslim. However it is uncertain, whether or not, a Kareen besides those of Muhammad, can actually become good. Another opinion holds, that Kareen refers to any type of spirit accompanying humans. Here, the Kareen refers to both demons, who cast evil suggestions, but also to angels, who advises to do good deeds. Further the Kareen is depicted as the other self, an integral spirit which is part of the person. A descent between the inner Kareen and the behavior may cause the same symptoms as jinn possession. In Hadith With regard to the Hadith of Muhammad there is none of you who does not have a companion Kareen appointed for him from among the jinn. They said, Even you? He said, Even me, but Allah helped me against him fa islama or fa islamu, so he only tells me to do that which is good. There are two well-known views that have been reported. Those who read the phrase as fa islamu said that it means, So I am safe islamu from his evil and temptation. Those who read it as F.A. Islama said that it means, The Kareen became Muslim Islama and became a believer, so he only tells me to do that which is good. They differed as to which view is correct. Al Qatabi said, The correct version is F.A. Islamu, so I am safe. Al Qadi Ayyad thought that F.A. Islama so he became Muslim was correct, and this is the preferred version, because he then said, So he only tells me to do that which is good. Reported by Muslim, 2814. And they differed concerning the report that says F.A. Islama. It was said that it means he submitted in the sense of surrendering, and it appears in this form F.A. Astislama, so he surrendered in reports narrated elsewhere than in Sahih Muslim. And it was said that it means that he become a Muslim and a believer. This is the apparent meaning. Abu Naim al-Azbahani said in Dalayl al nubuwa 1185, it was said Islama meaning he believed. Muhammad was the only one whose Kareen became a Muslim and a believer. Based on this, having one's Kareen become a Muslim was something that was unique to Muhammad. Furthermore, there is no evidence that the companions Sahaba ever tried to convert their Kareen to become a Muslim. Other sources The concept of a Kareen appears in pre Islamic literature as well, and reminds to the Greek daemons and the Christian guardian angel. In pre-Islamic Arabian the Kareen is said to be able to inspire poets for their works. One of the seven mu'allakat, Arabic poems recognized as masterpieces during the pre-Islamic period, uses the word as a metaphor. To describe his tribe's excellence in battle, poet Amr bin Kultham says that, Every tribe has taken fear of us as a Karan or constant companion. Quote closing parenthesis comma quote, meaning that their fear of Amr's tribe is always present. This goes further to show the origin of the word Kareen, as described in the Arabic dictionary as a companion. Topic. See also Bicameralism psychology, Doppelganger Etienne Familiar spirit Genii Jin Shadow psychology, Tulpa Winged genie References <laughs>